Darman, a name that you probably heard more times than a subscriber count this past year thanks to amazing creators like Moist Critical and Cody Ko. But if you don't know who this absolute chat is, Darman is someone who makes sketch videos around life lessons in an attempt to teach said life lesson to his viewers. In an attempt to reach the widest audience, however, he makes his scripts very easy to understand and very predictable, which makes them perfect for AI generation. So with such a huge opportunity, I couldn't just sit around and do nothing, so I started making an AI that would generate Darman scripts. But from the very moment I started this project, I hit a pretty big roadblock. I realized that I don't know shit about AI. We gotta start from somewhere, I guess. After reading a fuckton of material about neural networks and stuff, I realized that either I'm a moron or some things really are impossible. I feel like it's both. So I just ended up copy-pasting some code and... There is room for improvement. After messing around with this technique a little more, I realized that this will just not work out. Because as my research progressed further in this field, I realized that you can generate sentences, however it's just very difficult for a standard AI to generate a story based on a theme and just make it coherent. The closest thing to that would be deep story, however I just can't code something like that, so we're going to have to try a different approach. If you don't know what the game design technique is, it's fine because I just made it up. Each character in our story will be treated as if they were an NPC in a video game, with attributes that the program can keep track of. Like, are they a good character? Are they considered a nerd? Are they considered fat? Are they considered short or poor? You know, the baseline Dharma shtick. But these so-called attributes don't really mean anything in and of themselves. So it's finally time to make the NPCs talk. Now at this point, I had two options. I could either A, go into this with a plan and use ways that have been out there for years now and are pretty much perfect. Or B, I could just go in, do whatever comes to my mind and possibly turn this entire project upside down, creating an incomprehensible blob of code. Guess which one I picked. After adding some global attributes like a core message for the story picked from a pool of predetermined messages, I started writing my mess of a line generation algorithm with the help of a base script. But hold on a second, a script? Wasn't the AI supposed to write the script? Well, yeah, however, we have this base script to make sure that the AI just doesn't lose track of the story and turn it into a big jumble of meaningless words. Let me explain that a little better. All this script is gonna do is it's gonna give the AI some open-ended suggestions as to how to write the story. Such as... Antagonist uses insults at line 1, protagonist reveals the core message at line 12, and things like that. Our AI will still have to come up with most of the things, however this script will just help it know where certain things fit better. And it's finally time to write some code. I mean, it would be if I didn't write it beforehand. So for those who are interested, here's the code and oh, it's gone. You're never seeing that again because code is boring and you're not here to see something boring. Now that everything is done, all that remains for us is to press the run button and wait. And maybe contemplate existence for a little while until the script generates. And bam, it's done. Now, at this point I could probably just show you what the AI generated and then call it a day. But I have something better in mind. Quick disclaimer, I didn't fix a single grammatical error in the script, so I'm gonna act it out as it is. Also I tried to do most of it in one take, so enjoy. If spring comes, can the winter be far behind, Valentina, the poor? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, if you're so uncomfortable, perhaps you should roll away. No, wait, you can't. You don't have the money for an ambulance. You know what? You should never estimate a book by its cover. You know what? That may be the most dazed thing I have ever tried, Valentina, the miserable. What's going on in here? What are you doing here? Oh please, 
I discover everything. It's your turn to be fat now. <laughs> it's your turn to be fat now. After that, Meredith starts to get SWAT, and Valentina starts to get rich and rich. Valentina even becomes a material engineer and starts his own business. Meredith, however, commits manslaughter. <laughs> Meredith, however, commits manslaughter, and after <laughs> after he serves his sentence, he starts looking for a job. <laughs> Meredith fucking commits manslaughter. <laughs> Valentina, hey. I'm sorry, I. I sh I'm no good for what I did in high school. It's fine, because I know not to judge a book by its cover. Well, that was very fun. But you know what else is fun? My Discord server. Link in the description. Okay, anyways, see ya.